Hi everybody, Kim from Oz here. Now today's is not really a file effects tip. What I'm going to do is uh, let you have a little bit of an insight into some of the stationary things that I have. Now there's been quite a few requests over many months. People are interested in how I actually use, what stationery I use and how I use it to uh, design my pages. Now I'm not really into a big embellishment um, as some people and I'm so amazed at the most creative way that people have used pay, the, uh, stickers and washi tape and a whole range of different things to make their pages just pop out so amazing. Uh, for me I usually use a little bit of washi tape just to separate my weekends and also the uh, notes section on the top and I've already talked about that in previous videos. So today because of the many requests of people just interested and also just to share a little bit about what I do I'm going to let you in on have a look at my stationary section of my desk so this is a bit of an exclusive instead of just the wooden desk and the file effects and the hands and the rings um, I'm going to show you Ken from Oz's washi tape drawer so I need to move the camera a little bit and uh, let's have a look so over here now this is just a small little organizer that I use and uh, it's got various layers and I might do another video to show you the various other sections but today I'm just going to show you this is the washi tape drawer that I use so I'm just going to be closer and have a look <clears throat> now believe it or not I do have quite a few I didn't realize how many I have um, but I will start with these scissors I tend to use some sharp I think these are embroidery scissors and I've got two pair usually because if you're like me um, with children in the house you go to use a pair of scissors they're gone so I've had two that I stay uh, keep in there I mean they're also sharp we don't want them near little fingers as well um, but at least the two scissors stay there and, and these are quite sharp and they cut the washi tape really really well so always use a good pair of scissors now the color scheme that I use, it's taken me a long long time to work out what I really wanted but I tend to have the grey, black and white and brown Tex Victoriana look but believe it or not, and I'll just pull it out, these are the first two colors of washi tape that I've ever purchased one is uh, a sort of a pale blue with some paler blue dots and the other one is this very green green um, I used to wonder what is this washi tape all about so I bought these two and, and uh, I haven't really used them too much I probably use these when I'm uh, the green one uh, to just stick um, presents together and when I'm wrapping now but uh, as uh, you know sticky tape but um, yes so this is the start of my washi tape career so let's have a look at the other ones that I do use a lot now I go for a bit of a Victoriana look I do have um, uh, tape like this, lots with text, and this one's a steampunk with cogs. It's I like it. It's a bit of a brown with um, gold sheen to it. It's not too over the top, but I do like the pattern. It's very sciency, and being a math and science teacher, I just I really like that um, black and white theme. There's some movie uh, celluloid look, and another black and white one with a whole range of different. Uh, weather symbols and then I just sort of cut just across and of course it's sort of um, uh, translucent on the outside so you actually just see the black uh, motive and so if it's been a really sunny day cold rainy um, I tend to stick those on as well um, over here got some postage stamp look I think they're postage stamps and then some darker black ones I've got a sort of a Parisian uh, 1800s look and then just a, a plain black and white one if I want a, a fairly dark border and then over here one with numbers and that peachy sort of uh, Victoriana print the alphabet uh, it's got an intriguing color I don't know if it's really a brown or a, a pink or a salmon color I'm not sure but um, I, I do like it and I do like the the text that's on there as well um, over here I've got just some uh, measurement ones again fitting in with my maths and science and of course um, uh, sort of a blue grid with some mathematical symbols and over here I do have a few little colored ones 
These are birthday, uh, happy birthday ones, which I might put on my uh, page if I have a significant birthday that I want to just highlight. Or usually I just put these on the back of an envelope to seal the envelope. And let's see what else we got. Just again, some of the dark, uh, sort of a darky she brown with text on it again. And some more text. <laughs> I have a tendency to like text. And of course I do have thinner washi tape as well, which I, I've tried and used. I find these ones are really difficult to use. So um, I occasionally use them, but I, I tend to cut in half using a paper cutter, um, the thicker tape, and that works pretty well for me. And there's a utensil one, looks like a Victoriana one again. So the, really the theme is black and white text, uh, Victoriana, steampunk, um, a whole range of different things, but I'm trying to, to vary it as well. Um, but I do use washi tape and I do use it weekly and uh, I can't speak more highly of it. So there you go, Kent's from Oz washi tape drawer. I'll show you the rest of my little stationery uh, stash on another video, but um, thanks again for the people who've uh, asked for this video and for sending in requests. If you do have anything you're interested in, you'd like me to uh, make a video of, uh, just contact me down. All the information's down at the bottom here, as per usual, and subscribe to my channel. I also have a my blog, File Effectuations, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another File Effects video.